besties. I'm about to start the charm offensive which i'm so excited um i've been wanting to read this for a while i actually picked it up like literally the day it came out because i've been so excited about it i just downloaded the audiobook and we're gonna get right into it i'm very excited this is definitely a five-star prediction for me Okay, so we've yet to have a Starbucks reference, which I love it. <laughs> Can we talk about this line? Dave is finally ready for his post-Ryan rebound. We are on the prowl for a one-night stand candidate. Oh, how about that Joe Alwyn looking dude by the bar? I need to be left alone. I'm stopping here because first of all I've only sat down to read this book twice and I'm pretty much already halfway through it. Second of all it's like almost midnight. I don't know why but when I read romance books I like stopping sometimes like after the first kiss and just like soaking in it. I like this a lot. Very good. Hi besties. I just want to read this one line from the charm offensive because i read it and i was like yeah that's that's it i'm just gonna i'm just gonna read it um so dave is talking about something that happened and he's talking about how it's like a little thing that um shouldn't have been enough to trigger his depression but unfortunately that's not how his depression works it's not logical or reasonable it doesn't need some catastrophic tragedy to turn the chemicals of his brain against him tiny tragedies are more than enough what the fuck um <laughs> welcome to my life <laughs> um that just kind of that just kind of fucked me up for a second because I was like, oh, those are the words. Those are the words. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I like this book a lot and I'm going to be really sad when I'm done with it. <laughs> What is up, besties? I'm in the parking lot of my therapist's office. <laughs> I'm half an hour early because I actually had to go to like the regular doctor before this. So then I was like, fuck it. Like I'm not gonna go home and then come back over here. Also, I just fucking filled my gas tank. Literally kill me. That shit was $40. I am not pleased. Anyway. Also, I just, I'm getting tattooed later. <laughs> I just made a tattoo appointment. I'm not getting anything new. I just have um, a collar tattoo on my arm and um, she's looking a little rough. So she, it's getting touched up. Um, but yeah, I have 35 minutes, no, 25 minutes before I have to go inside. So I'm going to do some light reading um, while I wait. So yeah. This is so fucking cute. I can't. It's so good. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Let me tell you about my day, guys. Originally today, I was planning on filming a video. And I knew I needed like some time for this video. It's probably gonna be out by the time I put this vlog out. So today I was gonna film my bookshelf video. But instead, <laughs> uh, yesterday my friend texted me and asked if I would go to the tattoo shop with her. And I said yes. And so then I texted my artist and was like, hey, like I'm gonna be at the tattoo shop tomorrow with one of your appointments like if you have time would you be willing to touch up my tattoo that like needed to touch up we talked about it before so i ended up doing that today and then i got home and had dinner and i was like okay i'm gonna film this video after dinner because i really want to do it today and then after dinner i started feeling sick so loved that but now i'm feeling better it wasn't anything crazy it was just my stomach was kind of like what the fuck but yeah let me show you the tattoo all right so this is her she just got a little refresh because the colors were starting to fade i actually have a matching tattoo with my mom um so this one is mine on my shoulder and then hers is little on her ankle but it looks so nice with the confetti touch up it literally took like five minutes but it hurt way more than i remember i have like a little project in mind where i basically just have like a like it's just gonna be like a tbr jar so i bought popsicle sticks in like a mason jar um and so i actually think i'm gonna start writing that out right now just because it's kind of what i feel like doing but i can't stay up super late tonight like i usually do because my shift tomorrow starts at 10 in the morning um but yeah i think i'm gonna start doing that i'm just gonna do that watch some youtube write some book titles down yeah that's the plan as i'm doing this and as i'm filling these sticks out i'm looking at books i have on my shelf that i actually like don't care about and like aren't actually excited to read and i think i'm just gonna take them down and donate them because like if i'm not excited to read it like i don't need filler books you know like i should only read books that i'm excited about and i need to be better about that so I think I'm just going to start taking books off my shelf that I don't think I'm ever going to read. Or not don't think I'm ever going to read, but aren't really excited about reading. I'm going to do that because don't read things you're not excited about. All right, I'm a little bit more than halfway through my bookshelf and this is getting pretty full. Um, Hold on, let me put this Sharpie down so I don't fucking draw on everything. It's like a, a blizzard. <laughs> but yeah, this is getting pretty full um i think i'm just gonna keep shoving sticks in there until i literally can't get any more in there but i might have to buy a second mason jar i went to a consignment shop to get this because i knew it was there because i was recently in there and the guy looked at me like i was fucking crazy for just buying one mason jar so now i'm gonna go back and buy a second one it was two dollars is that a lot for a mason jar i don't know there's still room i can get more in here we'll see what happens i might have shoved my last popsicle stick in here I can't, but there's room at the bottom. I see the room. Just let me get to it. There's literally room. Like, stop fucking with me right now. Man, I got it in here. Come on. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I can get more in here, right? There's literally room. I can do it. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, we might have a problem because I'm trying to <laughs> take them out so I can maybe like reconfigure it to get more room in here because I can get more popsicle sticks in here. I mean, I just can't. But I can't, <laughs> I can't really get any out, which sort of defeats the purpose of the whole project. Um. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. All right. We're getting somewhere. Okay. I've gotten it loose. All right. Hold on. Hold on, besties. Okay. Okay. I think the pro I think the trick is just going to be I'm going to have to stick them all in straight. Like, we can't have any of this diagonal bullshit happening. All right. Let me keep trying to get them out. <laughs> all right. Another update. I just took this mug that I have and washed it. And that's how you know I'm fucking dedicated to this because I hate doing the dishes because I have such like a, I get so freaked out when the water touches like whatever's on the dish. I hate it. Once I get my heart set on something, there is no fucking stopping me. Hence why I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> but we're gonna try this because it's shorter than the sticks and like wider. Oh, this is better. 
See, this is way better. Okay, I do love this mug though, so I'm gonna have to buy another big mug to replace this, but this is definitely way better than the mason jar. Fuck you, mason jar. I don't even know where it went. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this now. This is off topic, but if I have time this month, I really wanna read this book because it's the January pick for book club I really wanna join called Safflet, which is a sapphic literature book club but they're based out of new york so i can actually go to like their meetings which would be fun so if i have time this month i definitely want to read this but i also really 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 want to get to these wildlife delights um so i guess we'll see this book is fucking big <laughs> so we'll see what happens but yeah just side note i don't even know when this video is gonna be up so it might not even be january anymore who fucking knows probably won't be january We'll see. Guys, I was maybe hoping I could just get through with two packs of popsicle sticks, but I need to delve into the third one that I bought. And that means that there's 120 fucking popsicle sticks in this mug. <laughs> I only have nine more books to write down that are on my shelf. I still have to... I might need to go buy another popsicle stick pack. I need to go on a book buying man so bad. I just don't know how to anymore. <laughs> All right, here are my 129 popsicle sticks with my physical TBR that doesn't include my purchases from the last four months and my presents and stuff. Um, I think I, sh I probably will be able to get the rest of it in here, but yeah, here it is. Let's pick one for funsies, shall we? I'm not going to actually read it, but we got to break this baby in. The Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels. It's up here. I saw one person talk about this on TikTok. And I actually like it because uh, the chapters are named. And I think that's so fun for, for like an adult book. Like I think having named chapters is so fun. It reminds me of Percy Jackson. Hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's actually, it's only 1045, which makes me happy. So I think I'm going to read for a little bit before I go to bed. Um... So yeah, I'm so excited that this is done and I love the setup. I'm excited about it. Okay, guys, let me read. Guys, Sunday, July 18th, 2021. That's my birthday, bitch. That's my birthday. I'm excited. One time I was reading a book where they literally included every single day in July up until the 17th and then they skipped the 18th. I was so fucking pissed. I think it was one of its us. <laughs> That's my birthday. The next day. Storygraph says I only have like 25% of this book left. Like I've only like I've read three quarters of it. And I'm scared because I think that this book is going to put me in a depression when it's over because I don't want it to end. <laughs> I also think this might put me on kind of a romance kick. Um, I'm planning on reading Boyfriend Material next by Alexis Hall. Um, so hopefully that will maybe, I don't know if that will feel that or if that will dampen it <laughs> or the fuck, what's that? Satiate it? maybe i don't know i'm not gonna finish this tonight i'm just not like i'm not emotionally ready to finish it um but i'm gonna read like at least a little tiny itty bit if i don't get to fill in that little square with today's date on my reading journal i'm gonna be super sad about it so i'm gonna do some reading and then i'm gonna go to bed because i have a long fucking day my five hour shift felt like eight i swear I need this book to last forever. That's how I'm feeling right now. It's so good. I don't want it to end. I'm going to be so sad. Uh, guys. <laughs> like, I can't. It's so fucking good. Mm, I love it. Alright guys, listen. 
I really wanted to finish this tonight, but I stayed up until 11 watching the first Law & Order Thursday in like a month. So I might have to take the L on this and finish it tomorrow. It's gonna snow here tomorrow. I'm supposed to work, but I don't know what's gonna happen with that. My shift is supposed to start at 10. I have a feeling we're gonna close, I mean, open late. So maybe it won't start at 10 and I'll be able to read this. I'm tired. And if I, like, I have to finish this, like, the next time I pick it up. And I don't know if I can read for an hour right now. So, might have to take the L on this one, Mustis. I have decided to put all of my faith in the hope that the universe is on my side. And I can go into work late tomorrow. And I'm just going to finish this book. I'm going to finish it at, like, almost 1 in the morning. And I'm going to be a wreck because I don't want this book to end, but I think I just need to power through it and let it happen. So we're gonna go on this journey, okay? And also, I don't want any fucking blank squares on that daily reading tracker thing. So we're doing it. We're gonna do it. Whew, deep breaths, okay. <laughs> Hi besties. Okay, let me give you the rundown. I <laughs> picked up a shift tomorrow. Why? Because I want the money. <laughs> um, I'm a little broke. I'm kind of hurting at the moment. Problem is, this shift starts at 8 in the morning. I am not an 8 a.m. bitch. I'm just not. It's not in my deck, okay? I'm not an 8 a.m. bitch. However, that was a shift, so... I don't know. I grabbed it. <laughs> it's just how it went. I finished the charm offensive last night. And so today at work, when I was on my half, I started da -da -da -da, Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. This is going to be the last book in this vlog. I feel like I've been filming this vlog for fucking ever. <laughs> um, I only read 19 pages. I think I read like two chapters and listened to the audiobook. Um... I'm gonna read a little bit more tonight, but it's already like 10.30. I was watching Drag Race, season 14, hello. So I'm gonna read a little bit of this tonight, but first I'm going to journal The Charm Offensive in my new reading journal, my first book of the year. So excited, it was a five star. I mean, I'm sure you could have predicted that, but ooh, I loved it. I loved it a lot. I loved it a lot. Date. I did not read last night, but I read more work today. So I'm now 41 pages into Boyfriend Material. Material girl. <laughs> I've been thinking about that fucking TikTok audio where it's like, I'm not, I don't know anything about Five Nights at Freddy's before you come at me. But that TikTok that's like, Freddy! You're supposed to be on lockdown. Vanessa, I'm a material girl. That shit is so funny. Anyway, I lit this very nice candle. Cranberry clove and orange peel. It smells very good. Um, and I'm gonna read more. All right, I am 122 pages in. I can't tell if Alex is in himbo territory or if he's just stupid. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Either way, it's making me laugh. So I like that the chapters are super short. It makes life fun. Hi guys. I have to go to Michael's and honestly, I think I am going to bring my book and just go and stop in Barnes and Noble for a little while and maybe sit at the cafe and read. It just depends. I definitely need to go get coffee. I'm kind of hungry. So I think I'm going to go to Starbucks. I'm going to bring my book with me and just see what happens. Um, also I need to wash my hair. So it's up today. Here are my earrings. 
sun and moon tarot cards. <laughs> I'm tired. I need a coffee. Also, um, I just got an email from my school saying that we're going to be remote for the first two weeks. So I'm going to be home for like another month, um, which I'm actually excited about. It's weird. I like the city so much more. Like I like the environment of the city so much more than I like it here, but I'm so lonely there. Um, so I'm excited to get to spend some extra time here and hanging out with my friends and my mom and my dad, my stepmom. My family, my grandma. Hi. Oh, let me turn, let me turn the radio down. I'm at Barnes. I'm leaving Barnes now. I think I'm actually gonna go to Sonic and get a lemonade because uh, I finished my coffee. But I was in there. I was sat there and reading for a little while, um, and then I randomly got anxious. So now I'm going home. <laughs> I read two chapters though. Look at me go until. My brain was like, actually, fuck you. Um, let's leave. I was like, okay. Last night I read 50 pages of this without noticing. Like, I just straight up didn't realize I read 50 pages. Like, I thought I read way less than that. But I'm starting, like, I'm not starting to. I really like it. My problem is, though, now I just want it to be sweet and fluffy. I don't want any more tension. <laughs> we resolved that. Now let's keep going and move on. <laughs> and I know that's not what I'm going to get, but a girl can dream. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Um, first of all, can we get some commotion for the sweater? Yes. I'm going to finish Boyfriend Material. I I like it. I don't want to be reading it anymore. <laughs> um, I mean, that's nothing. I'm just, I just want to move on. I'm just ready to move on. Like, nothing against the book. I really like it. I think I'm going to give it like four and a half stars. But I just am ready for it to be over. I'm ready to ingest something new. I think I only have like less than two hours left on the audiobook. Maybe I'll speed it up. But I just want to finish it tonight. So that's the plan. But that means I'll also be finishing this vlog, which is kind of crazy because I have literally been vlogging for like almost a month doing these five books. So yeah. Oh, here's the other thing about this. I'm not like a read the last page kind of girl, but when I'm like into the book enough where I start liking it, I kind of start, this is what I do. I kind of just start flipping through it like this and like reading little parts of whatever it lands on, uh, which is how I know that there's an event coming up in this book that I literally don't want to read about. Like, I just don't, I think it's, I already think it's stupid and I don't want to read it, but I'm going to read it anyway because I want to finish this book. I would love to just end it exactly where I am and have that be the full story. But I will say, I am going to try my damn hardest to get an arc of husband material <laughs> because I just... I just want to keep following them. They're fun. This, like, garden party anniversary bullshit is, like, making my shoulders tense. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> All right, it is past midnight and I am done. Which means this is the outro to this vlog. <laughs> um, so we've just read five books together.
that's crazy. Um, I hope you liked it. If you want, you know, you want to start off strong, I'm giving you permission to mark these books as red on your Goodreads or your Storygraph or whatever you use. All right, start off strong with that reading goal. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was genuinely so much fun. And I might keep doing more reading vlogs if you guys like them. Um, I'm having a, I'm having a good time. Thanks for being here. Okay, bye. See you, see you later.